Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today I have a booty builder workout for you. It's actually more of a booty annihilator workout for you because I just finished it and I thought oh my <laughs> what have you done. Anyway it's a lot of fun. It is five supersets. It ends with a double kettlebell or double dumbbell whatever you have. Tabata reverse lunge finisher and it is just it's tough. I had some shaky legs for this one. So I think you all will really enjoy it. What you will need for this workout is a sturdy boxer elevation for some hip thrusts and Bulgarians, things of that sort. Um, you will need your bands if you have them. Uh, and you will need two kettlebells if you want to do double kettlebell with me in the burnout or you'll just need dumbbells. And then you also might need your weighted vest if you like that sort of thing. I put mine on for some of it. So vest, bands, kettlebells if you have them, dumbbells, sturdy elevation and that's all you'll need, okay? You can do this whole thing with just a sturdy elevation, your couch, um, and some dumbbells, so don't worry about that at all. Now, one thing that is very important for this workout is to make sure that you challenge yourself with the weights. You do a lot of squeezing, you think about the glutes as you go through each superset and each move, and that you have a good time. So. When you gather all your things and you strap on that can-do attitude, uh, we will go into your warm-up and crush this booty builder workout together. It's going to be fun. Don't be nervous. See you in a minute. All right, guys, let's get this booty builder workout started with a good warm-up. Awesome. Let's start with some butt kicks. You can always start these low impact if you are not ready to hop. I'm ready to hop today. <laughs> Maybe not, but I'm gonna hop right now. Got some good sleep last night. I'm gonna keep touting the benefits of good sleep in hopes to convince you all to sleep. Even when you want that mom or dad alone time and you stay up to get it, I say go to sleep. <laughs> Because I crave that alone time too once my kids go to bed, but now I'm like, I don't know, the sleep thing might be a good thing. Two, one. All right, let's do leg swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other side, dynamically warming up those hamstrings. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come over to your elevation or just do regular squats. We're going to do some box squats. One, two, three, four, I don't know why I'm counting. Five, let's do five box squat jumps. One, two, Three, four, five. Regular box squats, squeeze at the top. Now even this, though this is a glute focused workout, we are working all of those helper lower body muscles too. Our hamstrings, our quads. So we want everything to be ready to work. Let's do five more box squats. Then we'll lunge. All right, I'm so short, that's not much of a squat for me. Okay, lunge it up. If you're not ready to go low, just take a shallow step, shallow step. that chest up. One more each side. Awesome. Shake it out. Now we're going to go into some hip openers. Got to get 
get those hips ready to work. Three, two, one. Now we're going to do a few low side steps. Push into those heels. Get your glutes ready to work for you. Just 15 more seconds and your warm up will be finished. My little girl changed all the colors on my interval timer so it's like flashing purple all the time. So happy. All right. Grab all the stuff you need for your first set of hip thrusts and good morning to box squats and I will see you for this glute buster work. All right guys, four rounds. Hip thrust times 15, good morning to box squat times eight. It's a multifaceted move, so that's why we're doing low reps. So without further ado, let's get it done. No timers today, just reps. Let's rep it out. Now this elevation may prove to be wonky and too high, so we'll just see how it goes. Here we go. One, really squeeze at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, last four, two, three, tuck that chin, four, five. And lower down. Whew. All right. Now we're gonna hit those good mornings. Do the box squats next. I'm just taking my kettlebell here. Wish I had more weight for this move, but that's why I put the vest on too. So here we go. So good morning. Take it up. Box squat one. Two, really squeeze, three, you should feel this if you're squeezing, four, five, six, seven, safely back from behind you and mark off that you've done your first set. Take a little rest and we will go back into our second set of those hip thrusts. Now my dumbbells only go up to 50 pounds per dumbbell and it's hard to pile two dumbbells on for these hip thrusts. So if you also are in that same situation where you just don't have the weight that you would like to have for certain moves, really focus on squeezing harder, maybe adding more reps or adding a hold, um, an isometric hold at the end of those sets and I promise you, you will feel it. So do what you can with the equipment you have. You can still get a good workout. You don't have to have like Olympic lift weights, okay? <laughs> You don't have to have power lifter stuff. All right, tap that chin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, really squeeze. 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. Slow lower down. Oh. Grab your weight for your good mornings. Here we go. One. Two. I'm keeping a slight hinge here for the whole move. Three. Side hip hinge. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Awesome. That weight off your shoulders. Mark down one more set. And on we go. I think what gets you, whether you have the right weights or not for that, is the progression. Because you're really just squeezing and squeezing that gluteus maximus for those hip thrusts. You're really involving all the glutes, but you can feel it there. And then you go straight into the good mornings to the box squat and you can just feel the fatigue already setting in in the burn. So that progression is a good one. Good one for those glutes. All right, let's head into that third set. Grab that weight. You can also do these right on the side of your couch. If you don't have a good box or elevation, Here we go, tuck that chin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really squeeze, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, starting to burn, 15, awesome job, lower it down, by that third set, those glutes are fired up. Here we go for the good mornings. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, how are you doing? Having fun yet? Seven. Eight. Very good. Whew. Take a break. I'm gonna get a towel. Gotta have that towel. Whew. This is a very fun very fun little glute workout. I just did it earlier this week when I made it up and I had a good time with it. Good, shaky, sweaty fun. 
get a drink and prepare for your last set. If you can increase weights at any point, go ahead and do that. These are great to do with barbells across your hip, sandbags for the uh, good morning, barbells for the good morning. But I don't have that stuff. So, if you don't have that stuff, join me with your dumbbells and we will just knock it out the best we can. There we go. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Good job. Whew. All right. There we go. Last set of good mornings to box squats. Ideally, I would have a lower box here. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. All right. Very good, guys. You are finished with your very first superset. We're moving on to a pyramid style superset of Bulgarians with deficit deadlift squats. So grab your stools, get your equipment ready, and I'll see you back here for that. All right, guys, we are starting off with 10 Bulgarians. You can start left or right. We're unfortunately doing both. I'm just taking my kettlebell for these first 10 reps. Got a towel on there to guard the front of my foot from that very severe box. <laughs> here we go. One. Two, you can do an extended stance here, three, to get more glute, four, quadrilateral load here, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, other side. Readjust. Comes one, two, push through that heel, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. That second leg is always going to be harder because you've had to use it to stabilize when you're doing the first leg. So don't worry about that. All right, we're getting our two benches now, our stools. We're going to do a deficit deadlift squat. Mine are real fancy, so don't get intimidated. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so taking those weights in the middle, okay? Deadlifting down, coming up with a squat, that's one. Two. Three, flat back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good. Very good. Take a rest. Whew. Mark it down. Oh, nice. Clear your stuff out of the way for that next set. I'm going to increase my weight. Get those kettlebells out of the way. I'm going to take mine up to 35 pounds here. next set of Bulgarians. Hope you guys are having fun challenging yourselves with the weights. Towel it off. Alright, here we go. Second set. Again, you can take that extended stance so that you can hit more of the glutes there. I've got my load contralaterally, which is just, just means the other side. Here we go. One, we're going for eight this time. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Get ready for that other side. Right leg is already shaking. <laughs> I know you feel my pain here. All right. Get it up there. One. Two, go to eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Get your stools back out for your deficits. Here we go. We only have three sets of these. One. Two. Three, four, five, squeeze at the top, six, seven, eight. Inside of those is done. Take a good break. 
I'm going to increase my weight for the next Bulgarians to 40 pounds. Not the heaviest I've done these Bulgarians, but I had a little bit of a pitch in my left knee, so I'm just kind of watching it. It's not hurting today, but trying to be mindful of that. So be mindful of your body when you're selecting weights. And when you had a little bit of a pitch in your giddy up, pay attention to it. Honor your body and how you feel. I'm feeling good. You guys feeling good? I'm glad I had a good night's sleep before this. Alright, let's hit that last set. We're just going six reps here. We are not messing around. Just going six reps. Get this last set knocked out and we will move on to something else. Okay. Alright. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Very good. A little pyramid work never hurt anybody, right? All right. Six on this leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice. Glad that's over with. How about you? All right. Get your benches set up or your stools set up for some more fun with those deficit deadlift squats. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, halfway done, five, six, I'm pushing hard, push with me, seven, eight, very good. Oh, nice work, guys. You've crushed all three sets of this super set. Take a quick break, move your stuff, and we will move right on. Awesome job. All right, guys, next super set. We have got our bands on now. We are going to do banded abductors, seated, forward, neutral, backward. And we're going to pair that with elevated banded hip thrusts with an abduction on the top, okay? You'll want to be abducted after this, okay? Here we go. All right, let's lean forward. I've got my band just below my knee and just above. So I've got two on here. All right, so be patient with me. <laughs> here we go. One, two, 20 reps a piece. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 20 at the top right away. One, two, three, four, knees out wide. Five, six, seven, feet out wide. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, open those hips, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, lean it back, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all right, hop down to the ground, hop down to the ground, Out there, feet up on your elevation. I'm gonna move mine. There we go. Right away. One, two, three. You can wait these if you want. Four, five, six. I may do that with next round. Seven. Eight, keep those hips driven up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, anybody burning yet? 14, last one, 15, very good. All right, Whew. hobble back up and over. That's your first set, knocked out. Lots of reps there, not a lot of weight, just body weight. But hopefully, a whole lot of burn. Now my elevation is a little bit high, so when I do the rear um, seated abductions, a little bit awkward, I'm not feeling it as much. If you feel like that, go to a lower elevation. I actually may go to this one here, which is a super fancy coffee table and I may do my next set on there seems like a bit of a better idea so do what you got to do to make it work for you here we go are you ready I'm ready okay knees feet out wide make sure you can see the soles of your feet when you're coming out okay for those abductions here we go one two three four five six Seven, eight, lean forward, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, neutral. Or you can do them forward if you did like me too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, lean it back. Here we go. Oh my yeah. this makes a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, push, 19, 20. Whew. Nice. All right. Let's get back to those. Glute bridges elevated with an abduction. Here we go. 15 reps. One, two, three, four. Really squeeze at the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Very good. Whew. Oh my goodness. Second set, knocked out. Take a little break. We'll do all of that again. I may add a weight for this last round, but I'm not sure. That really hurt so good that I don't need to find anything else. Ah. Really 
Take some time. Smack those glutes out. Relax. Whew. Give them a chance to recover before we do those next, what is it, 75 reps? So this is your high volume portion. Some of our supersets have had lower uh, rep moves. And it's really important that we train the glutes in this way. We train them in lots of different ranges of motion to get all of the different glute muscles targeted, but also we train them in different ranges of motion because that uh, mimics the functional patterns that we use in everyday life, in sports, in whatever. So we want to train them in lots of different directions for just isolating the different muscles and for functionality, but we also want to train with high and low reps, okay? That's really important to get those strength and muscular gains in your glutes. So lots of different reasons that we do things the way that we do here at Velvet Hammer Fitness. And if you ever have questions about that, please email us and say, Mackenzie, why are you doing it this way? Or, you know, why are you doing it that way? Why should I do this or that? And we will try to answer you um, to the best of our ability, or at least show you where to look for your answer. So anyway, after all that, let's go into our third set here. Final set of these seated abductors. Here we go. Lean it forward. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Drive the knees out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. All right. Did our last 15 of these. Banded. I'm going to get my kettlebell, set that on my hips. I'm going to be really sorry I did that. Um, but, you know, no regrets, right? Here we go. Drive them up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, good and hard, nine, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, keep those hips up, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15. Oh, I am so glad that is over. Wow, that burns real nice. So, we are finished with that one. You have one more superset to go, and I told a tiny fib because we will have one set of interval base moves this workout. It's going to be a Tabata double kettlebell or weighted reverse lunge burnout, okay? so. Let's get through that next superset. Don't worry about the Tabata until you have to, but I just wanted to confess my little tiny fib that I said earlier. So get toweled off, get ready for that next superset of deficit sumo squats and single leg deadlifts, okay? I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, we are ready for that last superset. We are doing deficit sumo squats times eight. You could do just regular sumo squats there if you wanna do that. And then we're pairing that with a single leg deadlift times eight per leg. I will be doing mine assisted uh, one leg at a time. Okay, I'm going to be holding the um, weight over the same leg that is working. Okay, so without further ado, I'm using double kettlebells for these sumo squats and off we go. <sighs> All right, here we go, times eight. One, two, Three, 
four, five, six, two more, seven, squeeze, eight, good job. Put those weights down, get your stools out of the way, and let's hit those deadlifts. It's going to be a little bit awkward for me because of space, but when is it not? So, here we go. I've got 50 pounds in my hand for this one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, other side. I'm going to be back here in a corner a little bit <laughs> so that I don't kick my box. There we go. Other leg. One. Two. Squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Very good. First set, knocked out. We are doing four sets of these. I don't know if I mentioned that at first, but we are doing four sets of all these moves. This should go by pretty quickly. I'm going to strap on my vest for this next set. And I know I'm going to be really sorry about it, but I never seem to learn. So here we go. Challenge yourself with those weights, especially if you don't have super heavy weights. Put on your vest, do more reps, squeeze harder. There's always a way you can make it harder. Here we go. One. Two, push through those heels. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Very good. Extended range of motion makes so much difference when you're wanting to get stronger and more functional. And those deficits do the trick. Put out your space. Get your weights ready for your single leg deadlifts. Still using 50, but now I have the best. So just in case I was getting comfortable, there we go. One, two, tighten your core, three, four, Ooh, that makes a difference, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Whew. Whew. Ready for the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Seven and eight. Oh, nice work. 
take a break. Your second set is knocked out. Whew. Awesome job. This is not easy, guys. So take as much of a break as you need. Make sure that you are ready and your muscles are ready to work again. Before you tackle this. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And eight. Oh. Oh. Nice. Move your stuff into those deadlifts for eight per side. Oh. Here we go. Got my bangs cut again there. Right in my eyes. <laughs> Make sure you're ready. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze. I'm just shaking and shaking. Whew. That's what you want. Work hard. All right. Here we go. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. goodness. All right. Oh. You finished round three. One more of those to go. One more of those. And we'll be finished with a superset. This is tough, guys. If you need to make your last set a drop set, do it. That's totally fine. You're still getting that time under tension for the muscles. You're still getting that extended range of motion. You're still going to get strength gains. That's very smart, especially if you're finding you can't squeak out all the reps or your form is getting compromised. Drop the weight. I will totally not judge you for that. And you shouldn't judge yourself either. So take a good break here. I'm not talking a lot today because I'm having a laser focus type workout. <laughs> really trying to focus on getting through it mainly, but trying to focus on form, thinking about my glutes as I'm doing each move, thinking about my hamstrings, trying to really get that mind muscle connection going so that everything can fire as it should and help me get through those moves and get those muscular gains. 
So, we have got one more set of these sumo squats and deadlifts. Only eight reps. This is some mass building time right here. Have fun with it. Lower your weights if you need to. Don't be a hero. <laughs> You're a hero for completing it. So, here we go. One. Two. Squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. And eight. Good job. Last deadlifts. over so you can tackle your last set of deadlifts. I'm keeping mine on 50. I know I'm going to be sorry tomorrow, but whew, no day but today, right? <laughs> Here we go. One. Two. Soft knee here. Three. Four. Seven hurts so good. Whew. Eight. Ah. All right. Whew. Okay, here we go. Last one. It's killing me dead, guys. There we go. There we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Putting the fun back in functional today. You are finished with that superset. Awesome job. I am leveled by that. I'm going to get a Tabata timer set up, get my space cleaned out, and we're going to hit that burnout. Awesome job today, guys. See you in a minute. All right, hammers, let's hammer out your burnout. I'm using two kettlebells. We are doing double kettlebell reverse lunges. If you have two weights, use those. If you are totally gassed out at this point, but you don't feel like throwing in the towel yet, do these body weight. Hinge at the hip. I do these in my boot camp class all the time with that weight. Just hinge at that hip, really focus on pushing through the heel of that working leg and you will feel this in your glutes, I guarantee you. So don't worry if you wanna shed those weights for this round, that is totally fine, okay? So I'm gonna do alternating rounds um, on each leg. So first round I'll do the left, second the right. You can do these four and four if you wanna do that. Um, just however you'd like to do it. So without Further ado, here comes our 10 second break so that we just have just enough time to pick up our weights, not really a break at all. I'm going to send that left leg back for my first 20 seconds, okay? Pushing through the heel. I thought, boy, why does this feel heavier? Forgot I had my vest on. So I'm really working on the right leg here, but for some reason I always count left and right by which leg I'm sending back for the lunge, not which leg I'm actually lunging on. So just another weird quirk about me. Here we go, opposite leg. Or you can stay on that first leg if you are a hoss <laughs> and a glutton for punishment. I try to think of this as like a superset. So if I'm doing one leg, then I rest that leg and do the other. Very good. Shake it out. This will challenge your grip strength as well as your leg strength and your cardiovascular endurance and your mental toughness 
and your desire to live. About five seconds. Very good. Sending the right leg back. Good times. I am just shaking. Glad this is our burnout, not our beginning set. And one. Very good. You're halfway there. We're on five of eight here. There we go. Get you a good post-workout meal after this. Help repair all these shaking muscles. I'm gonna have to give my goats a pre-workout meal here in a minute. It's been raining, so couldn't really give them their food in their outside trough right now. So we're gonna do it in a minute. Then I'll feed myself. There we go. Killing the legs. Killing those glutes. Push through the heel. Hip hinge. You could hold a weight under one leg here. Oh my God. Shaking. Whew. Round seven. Last full around both of these moves. Push through that heel. Try to focus on one spot so you don't get off balance. Tighten every muscle you've got. Last round. You can do this. Last leg, I guess. job guys you are all finished with this terrible terrible glute building workout I hope you had fun I want you to take a moment to get your breath back I want you to clear off your space take off your shoes if you want to and let's thank our amazing bodies for what they've done today see you in a minute all right guys it is cool down time let's take care of your amazing body we're gonna start off with a pretzel stretch. So put that right leg on the bottom, left leg on top, or vice versa, we're gonna do both. I want you to inhale up, nice and deep. Exhale, reach up and over. You don't have to have enormous flexibility in this position to really feel it and to reap the benefits, so don't worry. You can't reach forward very, very far at all. You should feel this in your left glute Deep in your hip and your piriformis muscle. Alright, let's go ahead and hit that other side. Left leg underneath, right leg on top. Inhale nice and tall. all those fingers ever so slightly forward as you exhale. Awesome. Slowly come back up. We're going to go right down to our backs for a piriformis stretch on our backs. So you're going to make a number four with your right leg across your left knee, and you're gonna pull back on that left leg. What this is gonna do is open that hip and get you a really, really deep stretch in that piriformis muscle. Should be feeling it right back here, maybe up here a little. 
nice flexible hips help us to become a lot more functional so don't forsake getting those hips nice and open all right other side Awesome job. Let's release here and do some spinal stretches, but first let's go into a nice corpse pose. Really just let everything settle into the mat. Let all that tension and angst from that workout just release. Now we're going to draw the right knee in. Hug it into the chest. Massage a little bit by rocking back and forth. All right, let's bring that nose to the knee, if you can. Awesome job. We're going to take the knee out wide. Put some nice positive pressure on the top of that knee. Knee up and over. And we're going to look toward that right hand. Try to keep your shoulder pressed firmly into your mat. Getting a nice twist in the spine here. All right. Draw that right knee back in. And then I want you to walk your hands up the leg. Just as far as you can go. If you only make it to your knee, that's totally fine. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Alright, go ahead and release. Now we're going to draw that left leg into our chest. And we're going to rock back and forth to massage the spine. Now we're moving our nose to that knee. And we're going to bring the knee out wide. You may have a side that crackles and pops. Totally okay. One of your hips may be a little more limber and loose than the other, and that's totally okay. That's why we work on them separately. All right, let's take that knee up and over. Look towards the left. in, nose to knee, and then we're going to walk up that leg as far as you can. This is definitely my tighter hamstring. Put the pressure where you need it to be. One more breath. And release. Go ahead and do that corpse pose again. Just let everything loosen up. Ooh, release all that compression. Now, we're going to roll over to one side. We're going to get into tabletop. And we're going to send our hips back. Our downward facing dog. the feet. Now we're going to shift our hips all the way back. We're going to heel toe, heel toe in. And we're going to slowly roll it back up. Move those shoulders around, make sure you don't have any tension in your upper body for holding all those weights. 
And you are all finished for today, guys. Awesome job crushing this booty grower, booty buster, booty annihilator, <laughs> whatever it was. You did awesome. And I will see you back at the camera for our send-off. All right, guys, great job crushing or being crushed by this booty builder workout. I hope you had a lot of fun, and I hope that you are shaking just a little bit and maybe ready to be nicely sore in the next couple days. So with that being said, to take care of your amazing body and help it recover, I need you to drink a lot of water today. I need you to get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have any questions about a healthy post-workout meal or how to put it together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. You can also hit us up right there for online personal training, nutritional counseling, and for our four-week glute growing or booty building program. We promise it will not disappoint. You will do many of the same things that you did in this workout, and hopefully by the end of those four weeks, you will have the strongest, most functional glutes you could ever dream of. So hit us up for that. Also make sure to stretch some more if you need to today. Um, it is so important that we take care of our muscles, um, that we make sure that they are nice and limber so that we can get a good range of motion for all the movements that we do for our workouts, but also for the movements we do in everyday life to prevent injury. So, a couple takeaway points from today. Um, when we train our glutes, it is important that we work in lots of different ranges of motion because that's how our glutes work, okay? In everyday life, in sports, we're constantly switching directions. We're not just moving front to back, side to side, okay? We're moving in all different planes of motion. So training the glutes in that way is very important for functionality and for strength, okay? And our glutes individually, when we isolate them, they're gonna work in different ranges of motion. So to really isolate them effectively, we need to move in those different ways. So we also like to work high and low reps, high and low weight to um, increase our glute gains and to become stronger and more functional. So we did a little bit of that today. So just to explain to you how we think when we um, design a workout for the glutes, we always think of those two things, moving in different ranges of motion to isolate the different glute muscles and to become more functional, and then using different weights and different um, levels of volume for those sets, okay? So other than that, guys, have an awesome week. Love somebody difficult, perhaps somebody who's a pain right in the glutes, because now your glutes are ready. They're stronger. <laughs> so love hard. Life is way too short not to uh, make sure that you also love yourself. That is super important. And whether you felt like you crushed every single superset in this glute buster workout, or whether you felt like every superset just crushed you, you finished. And I'm so proud of you. And as always, here comes the hammer. It is your health today and every day, so you know what you got to do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome week, guys. I hope you're feeling all the glute pump, and I will see you soon.